Should you spend hundreds of dollars on a gaming chair? Absolutely not. <laughs> so you're interested in buying an expensive gaming chair. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at my expensive gaming chair. I'm gonna be going to go into why you should or you shouldn't buy one of these. Why am I spinning? You're not. This is actually my second time shooting this video because the first one was just so boring. Today, we're gonna to be doing a sort of review on my gaming chair. It's about a $400 gaming chair. Luckily, I didn't buy it myself. It was gifted to me. It's the Razer Isker in dark leather. Not dark leather. In dark gray fabric. So we actually have the chair right here. And as you can see, let's do a little spam for me, shawty. Damn, girl. That's a beautiful looking chair. And she fit too. But as you can see, this is a stunning chair. The dark gray with the black accents and the very subtle green for razor. It's just chef's kiss all over. Mwah, mwah. So first, we're pretty much gonna go over the looks. In my opinion, one of the best looking chairs on the market. It's very sleek, it's very subtle. It looks very modern with the gray and the black and the very subtle hints of green. And for looks, I give it a 10 out of 10. This chair could start an OF page and I'd subscribe. There's not much to say about looks, honestly. It's very sleek. And the armrest, there's a bunch of buttons that don't stick out too much. They fit in very well. And that's pretty much all for looks. Let's move on to adjustability. Having lots of adjustability is kind of a big deal when you want to be comfortable. You gotta be able to adjust different angles for your back, your neck, your arms. All that stuff is very important. We got lumbar support. Goes up, get that nice, gives you that nice straight posture. No arching your back there. Of course, you can lean with it. There we go. This is pretty much as far as you can go for the lean. Yeah, this, this is as far as you can go for the lean. Not crazy lean capabilities, but you can also adjust the base. The base. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, you just unlock it. You can lock it in place and you can rock. Not sure if this is what it's meant for, but sometimes I'll be doing this. That's how it normally sits. You can lean back with all your weight and it'll lock it in place. Like this. So it adds a little bit more. It's locked in place. Now. Ah! All right. Of course, you can adjust the height up and down. That's common with like every chair that has wheels. Gotta make sure I get the arms in there. These bad boys actually go, they go up, not very far. Down, they go left, right, swivel, slide left and right not very far they also also go back and forth also not very far and that pretty much concludes our adjustability for the razor isker moving on to comfort because that is one of the most important parts when purchasing a multi hundred dollar chair if you don't test out your chairs before you spend hundreds of dollars on them you're crazy I'm pretty crazy myself and I wouldn't even do that. But looking at the comfort on the chair, how comfortable do I look right now? Because I don't feel very comfortable. How about now? How comfortable do I look now? Yeah, this is even worse. Now how about now? How comfortable do I look now? Got the lumbar support, my back, my shoulder blades don't touch it. That would defeat the purpose of the lumbar support. I find this to be the most comfortable seating position for long periods of time. It helps keep my back straight but that's about all it does. We do have a very nice memory foam pillow, very squishy, soft, and for your head. However, I don't really use it because there's no point. For 90% of the time I spend in this chair, I mostly sit with the lumbar support out, like this. With it being out, my head really doesn't touch the pillow. It's just not comfortable that way. But I find it the best for my back positioning. It keeps my back straight for most of the time without me wanting to hunch over and slouch. The last thing I want to be is a part of the Igor family. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom cushion where your ass sits. This is what the bottom cushion looks like on the Razor Isker and it's not very impressive. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I stand on it so that you can see me applying pressure, how little movement there just is. So you guys can see how little movement there really is. So as you saw before, this is the bottom and I'm gonna be standing on it. So you guys can see how much pressure it takes to sink in the cushion. You guys can actually kind of see my butt mark right here. Before I stand on it though, you can actually see just how big this seat really is, which is insane. With the lumbar support out, I actually don't use the entire seat. Let's put it out real fast, boom. So this right here is about how far I go. You still got all that space in the back. 
What? This right here is pretty much where my butt sits. So behind that, it's not broken in at all and it would be so much more uncomfortable than it already is. Let's get to standing. Look at this. Oh man, you, you gotta be kidding me. You guys can see right here, look at that. There's barely any play. And that's the smallest pressure points with all my weight. And that's the area that's broken in. Let's touch the area that I haven't broken in yet. Wow, look at that. Barely any movement whatsoever and I'm freaking spinning. It's honestly mad impressive how uncomfortable they make this look and feel. So I've actually had this chair for about a year and seven months now and you can see I've broken it in pretty well for the parts that I sit. For the parts that I sit, there's honestly not that much cushion, not that much bounce. You guys saw exactly how it looked. And for the parts that I don't, yeah, I, I guess I should probably sit up now. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to have a little dance party. <laughs> Sweat a little bit. As you guys saw, I've had this year for a year. Really, bruh? As you guys saw, I had this year. Mother fucker. If I mess up one more time, get the. As I said before, I had this chair for a year and seven months. And it's not even fully broken in yet. This is the most uncomfortable chair that I have ever sat on, other than the chairs that you unfold and they're full metal. Who would want to ever sit on those anyways? That pretty much concludes my review, my, my brutally honest comprehensive review on my Razer Isker gaming chair. It goes for $400 by the way. I don't know if anybody, I thought I should throw that out there. That thing goes for $400. And it's one of the most uncomfortable chairs I have ever sat in. For a $400 chair, it doesn't even have that much adjustability. The only difference is the lumbar support. Now for reference, I used to game on an office chair back in the day before I got this, but it was leather worn and it was ripping. It kind of rubbed against your legs while you were sitting there. But that chair was 10 times more comfortable than this bad boy right here. Now, did it look as good? Absolutely not. Did I want to f the chair? No. I feel like this has been a pretty successful video. That pretty much concludes the review, honestly. Uh, my brutally honest answer, should you spend hundreds of dollars on a gaming chair? Absolutely not. Some alternatives I would definitely recommend and go with myself is number one, a rocking reclining chair. Those are so comfy, bruh. Right? I could literally sleep in one. This thing, I, I can't really sleep in that unless I wanna wake up with back pain and neck pain, leg pain, shoulder pain, face pain, all the pain. In all seriousness, the number one thing I would recommend if you're a chill gamer, you play with controller and console, because you have to be a chill gamer or play controller. You can't play mouse and keyboard with a reclining chair, unfortunately. It just kinda, the ergonomics of the chair don't work well with playing at a desk. But if you are a chill console player, I would absolutely one gajillion percent recommend a rocking reclining chair because them bad boys is comfortable as f Then the second alternative would be office chairs. I personally used to use an office chair before this bad boy. It was much cheaper, much more comfortable. Now it didn't look as good, but that really doesn't fucking matter. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope it did help you guys get a little honest look at these four or $500 gaming chairs and how shitty they really are. But I really do appreciate the support I've been getting on these past two videos. I'm gonna be coming out with a channel trailer pretty soon. If you guys like don't wanna watch this part, you don't have to. Like, Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys, I love you guys. But next, I'm probably gonna be coming out with a channel trailer or something like that. I gotta think about it. I gotta get that right, cause it's gotta be funny, it's gotta be good. I don't, I don't want a boring ass video. I gotta be able to hook people. I gotta chain them up and lock them in my basement type stuff, you know? But anyways, I do appreciate the support I've been getting you guys. I really love you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.